Our feelings are like a river, in the sense that they are constantly flowing, constantly changing. And often we tend to get carried by this river of feelings, and we may even feel like we're drowning in this river of emotion. But something that we can practice is taking a step back, sitting on the bank of the river, and just allowing this river to flow by as we witness each emotion that comes and goes. So, so often in our experience, we tend to identify with an emotion that we're feeling, create a story around it, and in doing so, we amplify that emotion and cause it to be prolonged in our experience. We perpetuate that emotion for much longer than is really necessary. For example, let's say an emotion of anger arises. Then we may say, I am angry, and I'm angry because this thing happened, or because so-and-so did this. And so, first we identified with it when we said that I am angry, and then we created this narrative and this story around why we're angry. And in doing so, we're just giving more energy to it. We are amplifying it. We're causing it to be to, to grow and to become stronger in our experience. And then we end up feeling angry. We end up feeling a lot more anger than is really necessary. And so rather than taking that approach, which many of us tend to do unconsciously, when we bring awareness to our feelings, we have this opportunity to take care of them and in doing so to transform them. So let's say that this feeling of anger arises. Rather than saying, I am angry or uh, creating that narrative around it, we can simply say, anger is present. Anger is here. And just allow it to be there. Allow it to be held in this space of awareness, not trying to uh, create a story, not trying to solve it, not trying to get rid of it, not trying to fix it, not trying to change it, because its very nature is to change, because our, our emotions are like a river. And if we start to pay attention to them, we'll see this, that there isn't really anything we have to do about our emotions, but just allow ourselves to feel them and allow them to come and go. And it really is that simple. So that feeling of anger arises, anger is here. Allow yourself to feel that feeling while it's there and just let it be there, knowing you don't have to do anything about it, but that it will pass on its own. And when it does, it will be replaced by another emotion. And perhaps it's, it's an emotion of sadness. So then you say, sadness is here. And then that emotion passes. And maybe that's replaced by a feeling of joy. Joy is here. And then joy passes. And in this way, we start to see that our emotions really are just like this ever-changing river, and we don't have to cling to it, we don't have to push it away, we don't have to identify with any of the feelings, we don't have to create a story around the feelings, because they are inherently temporary. They are just a, a momentary response to something that's happening in our environment, and we can allow them to come, we can allow them to go. And in that process, we can also allow ourselves to just be with them, and to look at them, and through observing them, we may also gain some insight. We may not create a story around it, but we may notice you know, why it is that we're feeling a certain way and what is this feeling communicating to us? Is it telling me something that um, maybe I can learn from? Maybe I can look deeply into and start to see uh, a new course of action. Maybe I'm feeling frustrated because of the way I'm doing something. And if I look at that, then maybe I'll get some insight into how I can do things differently. So our emotions can be like teachers to us too, if we look at them in this way. But the key here is to look at them with awareness. So rather than allowing ourselves to unconsciously be uh, pushed and pulled and caught in the stream of emotion, we sit on the bank of this stream of emotions and we just watch, we just witness, and we just notice as they arise and pass. So this is just one way of working with our emotions, and there are many different ways that we can work with our emotions, but this is one that is very helpful, and it's one that is um, talked about in the foundation of feelings within the four foundations of mindfulness. And the four foundations of mindfulness is essentially an ancient teaching uh, given by the Buddha that teaches us how we can establish mindfulness in different areas of our lives 
namely the body, our feelings, our mind, and our perceptions of reality. And through different practices like this one, we can cultivate awareness of these areas of our lives, and in doing so, we can be free of their influence on us rather than allowing ourselves to be disturbed by our body, by our feelings, by our mind, by our perceptions. We have this deeper awareness of them and that creates a sense of space, a sense of freedom and a deep understanding that these things are always arising and passing and we don't have to identify with them, but by creating that space of awareness, we can consciously choose how we want to relate to them and how we want to respond to them and how we want to lead our lives. So rather than becoming sources of suffering, these things become tools for awakening, awakening peace and freedom within ourselves. So if you're curious about learning more about these four foundations of mindfulness, I recently created a 14-day mindfulness training in which we go into these different foundations of mindfulness and learn how to use them to create peace, happiness, and freedom within ourselves. So if you're interested in learning about that, you can check out the link in the description below this video for more information about the course. But to come back to this principle of uh, the river of emotions within us, Start to notice just how temporary your feelings are if you don't identify with them, if you don't create a story about them. If you just notice that you're feeling that feeling, in the moment, it fe obviously because it's our feeling, it feels so strong, it feels so all-encompassing, and it totally colors our experience. But if you can remember that this is temporary, and also just remember what it is, so anger, this anger is here and it's temporary. Let it be there, breathe with it. and just let the anger be there. Hold the anger within that space of compassionate awareness. And in doing so, you can allow it to change on its own, allow it to transform on its own, instead of perpetuating it and making it this common emotional tone to your experience. So if you can practice relating to your emotions like this, I can guarantee you'll have a much healthier relationship to your emotions and you won't allow yourself to get so overwhelmed by what you're feeling in the moment, but you can know how to relate to it with wisdom and allow it to come, allow it to go, and allow yourself to remain grounded, to remain centered on this river bank. So instead of being in the water of the river, you're sitting on the bank and you're watching it as it flows.